What's up guys, welcome back to another one My name is Abo G, in case you don't know And in today's video, we are going to be driving from Anambra State to Owere, the capital city of Imo State Hope you guys enjoyed this ride with me Let's move, let's drive and let's see how the road looks like and uh, and that's it so we move and uh, currently i am in oba so I'm, 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 I'm approaching the oba old road junction so for some of you who doesn't know oba oba is a town in anambra state and also if you know uh what's the name of this uh, man and uh oh my god how could i forgot his name uh for real sorry uh is a popular uh, socialite in nigeria uh mr obi obi kobana yeah that's the actual name obi kobana mr obi kobana so this is his hometown and by my right hand side that's the grand vic grand vic secondary school that's one of the most expensive no that's one of the most expensive schools in anambra state one of the most expensive schools in Anambra State. So uh, from here we'll be approaching Arifite. Arifite is also a popular town in uh, Anambra State. Also that is where uh, Mr. Emeka Ofo, I guess that's a familiar name to you, Mr. Emeka Ofo. That's where he's from. That's his hometown. So, but we are yet to approach to so if they're not yet. We are still, we are still in Oba. So, guys, stay in tune. Don't change the dial. Don't go and watch out any other YouTube video. Just be watching this one for now until the very end. Okay. That's a new hotel. They recently opened it. I think that was like a few months old. So from here, from Oba to Owere is like approximately, let's call it 40 minutes drive. But because of the uh, because of the tra checkpoints, police checkpoints, and mostly the uh, army checkpoints in the road, can possibly can possibly make the duration to get up to like an hour plus. But on a normal day, it's just like thirty minutes or forty minutes drive. So right now we are we are at the Orifite, Orifite town. So this is Orifite town. This is the hometown of the popular and uh, wealthy man Emekofo is from. Emekofo is a very wealthy man, one of the richest in Nigeria, one of the rich people, you know, the richest people in Nigeria. Yeah, you can browse about his name. I think he, he will be in top He'll be in top 30 of the richest men in Nigeria and also I think top 10 in the richest men in Igbo land, southeastern Nigeria precisely. I may call for so he has a, I don't know whether he's the owner of the, the plaza in uh, main market. Main market is the largest market in West Africa. 
there is a plaza, a very popular plaza called the Mekofo Plaza. Like uh, mostly things sold there are uh, phone accessories, electronics, and other you know electronical uh, gadgets. So it's a very famous plaza. If you don't know anywhere in Emek, if you don't know anywhere in main market on it, definitely we know Mekofo Plaza. So I don't know whether he's the owner of the plaza, but if he is, I mean, the man is really, really filthy rich. Of course, I think he. Of course, he's supposed to be the owner. He can't just the name can't just be a maker for for just naming sake. Of course, he has to be the owner of the plaza, a very big one. So we are still in Orifite. a royal house or what but I admire the house a lot though it's an, an old house but I still admire it side 
that's the Ekusigo Junction. Still in Ebusiko. Ebusiko is a local government, actually. So I think in in Ebusiko junction, in Ebusiko local government, you will get to find uh, Ihembosi or Zoboro, and uh, which other? I don't know whether or if it is under uh, Ebusiko local government area. So let me know guys if it is, I don't, I'm, not sure, I'm not actually sure about that, but I'm definitely sure about Ihem Bossi. Uh, uh, what is the other name? Ozovolo. So right here is Ozovolo. We are still in Ozovolo, under Ekusigo local government area. Something will be done about this particular road. It's not like it's a very bad road, but there is a lot of potholes. Like there is a lot of patch. In my side, we call it patchy patchy. There is a lot of patchy patchy here in this road. Like it's not that smooth. So I wish there is something could be done regarding on the road for a smooth drive. So by my right hand side, if you take a look at my right, right my hand side, I don't know where you guys can see it. That's the Madonna University in Orkija. But we are still here to approach to Orkija. It's farther away by my right hand side. I don't think you guys can see it. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Let's just concentrate on the road. Actually, mango is out and mango is here to stay. This is the time for mango. Mango. We are 
are heading to Okija, or let me say we are approaching Okija. Approaching to Okija Junction. So that's the Orasi River. <laughs> I can remember during my school days, I heard a lot of scary stories about this river. The Orasi River ahead is a very powerful river, a very mysterious one. You know, things happen. Let's leave the story for another day. So, by my right hand side, that's the road to uh, Madonna University, a private university owned by uh, Reverend Father Ede of the Holy Ghost Congregation. And this is the home. Okay, let me. Okay, this is Okija Junction. This is a very popular place in Okija. This is Okita Junction, and this is a home. This is the home to Obi Jackson. Obi Jackson is also another billionaire from the southeastern Nigeria. A very, very, very big billionaire. Billionaire. A billionaire, I said. A billionaire. A billionaire in Naira dollar, and a millionaire in dollars. <laughs> yeah, Obi Jackson. A very famous name. I believe you have heard that name somewhere or before right so we are still in Okija and after Okija, and after Okija we'll be heading to Ihiala Ihiala my second home my second home for now because the reason why I said Ihiala my second home because I schooled in, in Ihiala and Ihiala is my alma mater I know I mean like my secondary school I schooled in uh, School, my secondary school days was literally spent in Ihiala. So there is this uh, memory, nostalgia whenever I, I pass through or drive past Ihiala. So that's why I call it my second home. So I'm here to show you my alma mater. So when you get closer to alma mater, I'll let you guys know this is my alma mater. So far, you're still in Okija. should be done about these potholes that's very dangerous you can't have a potholes as big as this in the center of an highway that's, that's too dangerous anything can be anything can happen I think whoever is in charge or whoever is in concern or whoever it may concern please do something about these freaking potholes in the middle of the highway it's freaking dangerous please Na yeah, go blue bigo. I dey beg o. Na beg I dey beg o. It's not a command, but please do something. So we're still in Okija. I used to think Okija is a very small town until I visited Okija. I went inside, then I found out that. Okija is actually a huge town, a very big town. One of the biggest towns in Anambra State also. Yeah, one of the biggest towns in Anambra State. It's even bigger than the Ihiala. Ihiala, which is the Ihiala local government area. Okija is under Ihiala local government area. Then at the same time, they have Ihiala. Ihiala is a town also. But Okija is the biggest town in the local government area. Then I'm kind of like wondering, like, why did they choose to make Ihiala the uh, local government area instead of Okija, which is the largest town? Like, it don't do, doesn't it work like that? I don't know. So enlighten me on that if you have an idea. So right now we have just touched down to Ihiala, and very soon we are going to. Uh, get to the Hiala local government area and that will be by my left hand side 
so we are basically in Ihiala. Ihiala, my second town. My second home. My second home, I mean. Why is he driving so fast? Nigerians, we are always in a haste. In a haste, going nowhere. That's one of our problems in this country. Everybody's in a haste, like there's an emergency. But at the end of the day, we're heading to nowhere. We are still stuck in the same place. So if you can see by my left hand side, that's the Ihiala local government area headquarters. And uh, very soon we are going to approach the Ezego Junction, which will be by my right hand side. How many of you have heard about the Ezego? Ezego is also a very rich man in Igbo land. Uh, that was, I think, in the 90s. Yeah, in the 90s. But unfortunately, he died at a very young age i think around 30 something yeah it's not even up to 40 before he died so he's a very rich man so we just pass uh, the junction that's the way to his house then he then he had one of the uh like one of the biggest mansion in ihala as of then everybody knows him in ihala not just in ihala in anambra states okay guys this is actually the main place I'm talking, uh, the main place I'm talking about, that's the St. Martins. Oh, the uh, St. Masquerade. Oh. Yeah, like they are playing their masquerade today. And by my right hand side, that's the Holy Ghost Junior Red Seminary. Here, yeah, like that's actually my alma mater. This is where I did my secondary school. So if you don't know right now, I'm actually an ex seminarian. So that's why you know. <laughs> that's why what? What are you saying, bro? So actually, that's it. And right now we are heading to Total. Tota is also a very popular place in Ihala. It's, uh, it has a lot of. It's, actually, it's called Tota because there's a Tota filling station there, a petrol station, and there's also markets there called uh, Nkwa Obi. Nkwa Obi. Yeah, I think I pronounced it very right. Nkwa Obi Market is also a very. It's a bigger market or it's a very big market here in Ihala. So a lot of people go to this market. If you are living in this town, definitely you go to this market to do your shopping. So that's the. Uh, Tota Junction by my left hand hand by my left hand side that's the total filling station and when you go towards the road that's the uh where you get to see the market I'm talking about a very popular place anything you need to buy this is the area anything you need to buy in Ihiala this is the area you will come and get it so from here and now we'll be heading to uh Uli but currently we're still in Ihiala so guys hope you guys are enjoying my ride you know, like uh, uh, some of the videos I've already uh, uploaded earlier, especially my drive videos like this. Drive videos like this. A lot of you are complaining, or some of you, let me not just say a lot, just few of you are complaining. I don't used to interact on my video. I should be interacting with you guys. I should be talking. And uh, let me tell you more about myself. I'm not that type that talk too much. I, I always like to go straight to the point, do what I want to do. I move so I'm not uh, I'm not that type that talk so much or you know you know you know but right now you guys are trying to change me I'm, I'm not happy about that <laughs> you guys are trying to change my character this is not me I don't talk too much I'm a gentleman by nature I hit the nail I, I mean how do they say it I hit the hammer in the nail or I hit the nail in the hammer but I guess you guys understood what I mean. <laughs> you guys want to talk, you go see talk today. So guys, I think that's the checkpoint. That's the uh, army checkpoint. And that's one of the reasons I hate this road. The checkpoint is too much. And that's so, so unfair to we, the Igbos. You know, it's not fair. How, how, can, how can there be a lot of army checkpoints 
in a highway this is no war zone there's no crisis going on here people are not dying people are not fighting there's no terrorism here so why, why so much army checkpoints here that's so unnecessary that's so bad so mr governor please do the needful so sudden like how can that be possible how can that be especially during this time there is a lot of you know fuel scarcity after buying fuel so expensive then you will come and stalk in the traffic because of the army checkpoints come on that's so unfair to the citizens at least the least you can do if you can normalize the fuel price or anything at least you know try to leave i mean ease the burdens it's too much please i'm talking to the person in concern please try to ease the burdens it's too much we are not born in this country just to suffer please do something i'm begging ah yeah it's too much sometimes when you when you think about situations in this country you like you cry you cry like man nigerians are one of the one of the strongest people I've seen in this planet Earth. I've not been to Pluto, Jupiter, or even Venus to know any other uh, species there. But as of this planet, I've been around the world, so uh, I can tell like Nigerians are one of the strongest humans in this planet Earth. Please, anybody in concern, if you can do anything, just try to use the checkpoints, the army checkpoints. In the road is too much especially in the southeastern nigeria it's freaking too much it's unnecessary i don't see if there is a reason for that that would be understandable but as i can see there is no reason for that so very very unnecessary and you guys are just suffering people so guys please 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 anybody in concern do something about it so literally people have to like people using commercial vehicles they literally have to like get down from their vehicles just the driver will drive through just the driver will just drive through the uh, checkpoint then 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 the other passengers just have to walk past the checkpoint <laughs> that's so that's so sad that's very unnecessary like why why that is this intentional act or what okay let me not emphasize more on this but i think i believe i've passed my uh my appeal to whoever is in concern or to whoever it may concern so please do something do something for my people And hopefully they don't ask me what is the camera doing on top of my car you know these guys they are so scared no no disrespect but the uh our security uh personnel is, most times they are so scared of the camera and that i can't tell if you are doing anything right you shouldn't be scared of the camera but they may, they may but they, when you when you ask they will tell you just for security reasons but it is what it is that's the country we find ourselves in and I pray we as the citizens one day, because at the end of the day, we, we, we are the only ones that can do the right thing. We are the only ones that can make the change. Like, expecting them to, to change, <laughs> I don't think that will be possible. Especially, uh, let me just put yourself in the table or put yourself in their shoes. If you are there getting a lot of stuff, no accountability, of course, you keep on doing what you are doing. So at the end of the day, still our responsibilities as citizens come together. Uh, forgetting the tribe, religion, the ethnic groups, and all that, come together, stand as one, and uh, do the needful. Together, we are strong, but divided, man, we are four. So, we have to do something about that. Let's hold these people accountable. Let them do the needful, the things they're supposed to do. Let's make our nation great again. I keep on preaching that because that's the only way to go. God is not coming down from heaven to help us. We are here. So we are the ones that is going to put this place in order. Okay?
So right now guys we are in Uli Center. So this is Uli Town. Actually Uli Junction. So by my right hand side if you want to go to the uh, Anambra State University campus, Uli campus, this is the way. So this is Uli Center. Uli in Anambra State. Actually, I don't know much in Uli or more concerning Uli. But uh, during my secondary school days in uh, Iyala, I know of a man and his late now uh, called uh, Bembela. I think Bembela is a doctor. He has a uh, he has hospital. He has hospital in Uli Center around Uli Center area. It's also a very uh, popular you know a popular brand. let me use the word brand is a popular brand 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 in regards of uh, uh, medicinal products like he has his own product like medicine like if I may say so he's a very popular one in that aspect so that's all I can tell you yes yes unless I forgot also Uli's hometown to a popular socialite and also a very popular musician, Nigerian musician, which are E Money and uh, Casey, Casey Lipompo. So, E Money is a brother to Casey, Casey is a Nigerian uh, musician, while E Money is a popular Nigerian socialite. So, I believe you have heard of them. 
Today won't be the first time you're hearing of them, right? <laughs> so, this is actually their hometown. This is where they are here from. So, yeah, I think I'm doing good. I'm doing good with Uli. So, very soon we are going to get to Mbidi. This road, this highway looks simple, but at the same time, it's a very dangerous one if you're not paying attention to your drive. So you drive your own and you drive for others because others may not be paying attention. So you have to be double paying attention. <laughs> if that makes, if that sounds right, double paying attention. You pay your attention and you pay for your co-driver attention. Not your co-driver attention, you, you pay for your co-road user attention. Yeah. I pray that my battery lasts till I get to where because I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to keep a steady footage so here we are we are approaching another checkpoint this one a policeman with red cap we'll see if my camera is still recording okay my camera is still recording There's a lot of checkpoints, very unnecessary. You are blessed too, so officer. Happy weekend. I wish you the same. Now, walk and go like this. Yeah, I don't see them now. Before I bring my hand, I know they're doing the <laughs> job, man. That's so, that's so. Well, let's see if they come back. I beg. No, 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 no. All right, thank you. So, he was expecting to get something. But unfortunately, I have nothing to offer today. You know, like, it's not like any other thing, you know, but I like to give, I like to give to them whenever they are polite. You know, whenever they are polite, I like to give to them. But whenever you feel like, oh, you want to intimidate or you want to extort, huh, then I will show you the other side, the other side of the other side. So this is another army checkpoint. Very, very unnecessary. So it is what it is. It's too much. So right now we are in Oguta. Oguta. Have you guys heard about Oguta Lake? So this is the home to Oguta Lake. This is the home to Oguta Lake. So right now we are the Oguta and this is Imo State. This is Imo State. And uh, we are almost we are almost in, in Mbudi. Mbudi. Yeah, that means Mbudi is also Imo State. Mbudi is in Imo State. Actually this is Mbudi. Right now we are in Mbudi. 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 So Mbudi is in Imo State. I was arguing with myself whether Mbudi is in Anambra State or in Imo State. So I've come, I've, I've come to a decision, a final decision that with a fact that Mbudi is in Imo State. Because I know for sure Oguta is in Imo State. So Mbudi is also in Imo State because I've seen Oguta before. I saw Mbidi. So right now we are in Mbidi and uh, we are going to be 
approaching our mama oh god something has to be done the bottles are too much this is of course a federal highway it shouldn't be this way Guys, right now we are in our mama. Our mama is in Imo States. I told you guys there. So after our mama, we are going to get Ukwaji. Then from Ukwaji, after Ukwaji, then no worry. So unfortunately, guys, my battery is low, so I don't think I will keep on, you know talking till we get to worry so i'm trying to i'm trying to economize my battery life so it can sustain me to till i get to a worry so in order to do that i have to like stop using the audio and just uh just focus on the video just focus on showing you guys the road i hope you guys bear with me so in case i don't do the final uh, actual of this video let me just do it now if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this you already know what to do you know share this with your family and friends and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel and please uh, also uh, let me know what you think about this ride or this drive we are driving right now let me think let me, let me know what you think also let me know what you think about it in the comment section let me know your opinion what's the status of the road do you like it do you know how do you, do you like how things have been done in this part of the nation do you like the checkpoint the road uh, the roadblocks the army checkpoints and all that let me know in the comment section and uh i will talk to you next time i upload okay so Let's continue with our ride.